Okay, hold for edit. Three, two, one. So yeah, after I've noticed a couple of uh, sports games having the same music as uh, pro wrestling, I figure why the hell not? Of course, now the big question is, who should I play as? Because we have a we have a wide variety of characters to choose from. We have Fighter Hayabusa, Starman, Kin Corn Karn, Great Panther, the Amazon, and the King Slender. Chairroom, I need your help. Who should I attempt to win the world title with? May as well ask the, the Lord Cat Chat since, since mine's kind of dead. <laughs> hey, John, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just not always saying anything. That and um, received a phone call a couple of minutes ago, that's all, so. Ah. I got kind of worried. Oh, no. No, that's fine. <laughs> I'm definitely still here, believe me. Dawn hasn't killed me yet. Why would she kill you? You didn't do anything, uh, do anything to upset her, did you? Because if no, <laughs> hell no. I was gonna say because if you have, I, I, I'd, I'd be going over there just to, to, just to, just to give you a noogie. <laughs> that, and I'm also keeping an ear out for um, our lunch, or what have you, or. Oh, dinner, Robert. Dar. So, have you ever played uh, pro wrestling on the NES? Tecmo Pro Wrestling. I had it, but I can't remember whether or not I got it to work properly. So, no, no experience with the uh, first party game. Nope. Then you, my friend, are in for a treat. Because because uh, we have six of the best wrestlers in the world ready to ca ready to fight each other for the world championship. We have Fighter Hayabusa and his back brain kick. I think it's an enziguri or something like that. Uh, Starman, who does a somersault drop kick. We have Kin Corn Karn, who is the master of the chop. He is a chopaholic. We have the Great Panther who can um, who can stick his palm in 
his opponent's faces. And for some reason, that, that gets a crowd reaction. I, I don't know why. We have the Amazon, who will choke and bite his opponents. And last but not least, we have King Slender, who is kind of like a combination of Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair. It's hard to imagine that, but... Eh. And he can do a backbreaker. Wait a minute. Wouldn't King Slender be more like a guy walking around with white tights on his head and a black suit? I don't understand the reference, but I'm afraid to ask. Slender Man. Oh, Slender Man. Ah. I'm probably one of the three people left on the planet who doesn't understand the whole concept of Slender Man. I'm not exactly absolutely clued in on it. I just know some things about it. All right, I'm going to try and give this a run with uh, the Chop Master. The Body Slime of Doom! And it didn't do anything. For some reason, they call that a jumping knee butt. Backdrop suplex. Followed by a pile driver. <laughs> Brain Buster Suplex. And a clothesline. Fighter Hayabusa is not taking shit from anybody, evidently. The Karate Kick of Doom! And the Chop! This is blasphemy! This is madness! This is Chopaholic! Ah, a winner is me. Now I take on the Starman, the luchador of the group. Uh. 
and a backdrop suplex. And the karate kick of doom. But oh, the star man's coming back with a body slam. Kin Corn Karn tries again with another another body slam of his own. And a high knee to the face. But oh, Kincorn counters with a pile driver. And another pile driver. And a suplex to the outside. Oh, and a splash to the outside. Very dangerous to attempt today. Starman must be out! The Giant Panther, who I am told he is a... He, he has a... He has a move similar to that of the Von Eriks. And yet he looks like Hulk Hogan. Which is weird. Because I seriously doubt that any, any of the Von Erichs faced Hulk Hogan before. And the Panther comes back with a with a thunderous body slam. <coughs> What's this? He's going to the top, and he misses with a with a splash. However, any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. My god, what a what a maneuver. Kin Corn Karn faces against the Amazon. A mutant with probably no origin whatsoever. We just know that he bites and chokes his opponents. Oh my! Oh my indeed, especially the knee to the balls. The Karate Kick of Doom, followed by a thunderous pile driver, and a Brain Buster Suplex, which you should never attempt at the beginning of the match. And if I'm not mistaken, the Belch is usually the usually the post-fight interviews with the Amazon. Whee! And he falls outside. Evidently, three splashes to the outside is all it really takes.
And finally, the cheapest wrestler in the bunch, King Slender with his Backbreaker of Doom. Ooh, and a back backdrop suplex. And a Karate Chop of Doom. And another j and another chop. And another chop. Kin Corn Karn is very bouncy today. Oh, and a splash. A thunderous pal driver followed by a back. Uh, what was it? Brainbuster suplex. Why did I forget that? <gasps> the backbreaker of doom. And a pile driver. And Slender is thrown to the outside. Ken Corn begins his barrage of, of uh, splashes to the outside, thinking he is a luchador. And evidently he couldn't get lined up with uh, King Slender, so yeah, nothing happened. He tries again. Splash number two. Does he have time for a third? No! As the count rings up to 20. And the winner via count out. <laughs> and the new FWA champion. <laughs> First time I've ever seen a title change hands based on a count out. So now I am defending the title, and I'm... And I, have, I hate to say it, but I'm going to have to start using the save states, because now things are going to get a little bit tougher here from here on out. Hayabusa is not taking any shit from anybody. Ooh, and a karate kick to the face. However, Kin Corn Karn is also not taking crap from anybody as he is as he counters with a backdrop suplex. And a pile driver. He hits the back the, the the brain buster suplex. Two in a row. What is he gonna do now? Knee to the sternum. And huzzah, we have food. John receives his food. <laughs> uh oh, Hayabusa is making a comeback. At least he was attempting to for a second there. Kin Corn with a with a splash to the outside. And a second splash to the outside. He decides there's not enough time to do a third. Will will fighter make it in time? No! 
He did not reach the ropes in time. Now Ken Korn defends his title against the Starman. But oh, he makes a rookie mistake as he attempts the Brain Buster Suplex early in the match. We had a draw... a draw game? What? We had a draw game. Or a drowl game. Kincorn attempting to gain the advantage. Suddenly it was a race to get inside the ring as quick as possible. Ken Korn is attempting to, to uh, dash attack his opponent to no success whatsoever. However, he does land the pile driver. And another pile driver setting him up for the knee to the balls, but he instead misses and hits the sternum. Starman telegraphing the maneuver. However, it did not save him. Starman is now thrown to the outside, and Kin Corn is putting on a clinic, doing nothing but splashes. Ken Korn suddenly thinks he is a luchadore, as you were. He lands a second splash to the outside. Can he hit a third? Not enough time, says Ken Korn as he stands there looking like an idiot. Kincorn takes on the Great Panther. And a bite slam by Kincorn, the Chopaholic. He attempts to pick up the the panther with a pile driver, but fails and fails miserably. However, he does hit a body slam. He now attempts some backdrop suplexes, hoping to weaken them long, weaken them down just enough to pick him up for the pile driver. 
Oh, and I move out of, out of nowhere. What is that called? A uh, um um a headbutt. That is correct. However, it was not enough to stop Ken Corn from throwing Great Panther out to the out to the out, out to out to the little bar. Announcer, I am not obviously. Ooh, kin corn with a knee to the to the stomach. To the bread basket. And a pile driver. Great Panther is telegraphing Kin Corn's maneuvers. Oh, and Great Panther with a headbutt to the face. Where else would a headbutt go? To the face! I am going to punch your face. In the face! No! Kin Corn attempting to brain buster the ever loving fuck out of the Panther, but the Panther will not stay down. That's what she said! Once again, the Panther is telegraphing Kin, Kin Corn's maneuvers. Kin Corn is hoping to finish this off fast so he can advance in the in the tournament. Tournament? He's not he's not in a tournament, he's defending. Oh, and the Panther throws Kin Corn to the outside. However, Kin Corn was waiting for him, because outside shenanigans are his specialty. And another body slam. Slight correction, folks. That was a brain buster. A brain buster. Kincor now takes on the Amazon, defending his title. Amazon coming out of nowhere, at attempting to get an early advantage. However, Kin Corn, Mr. Karn, counteracts with a body slam. And something he calls a jumping knee butt. Does not make much sense because knees do not have butts. And a kick to the face. He performs two solid pile drivers and goes for the splash and connects. He throws him to the outside and performs a splash to the outside, thinking he is a luchador. But he is not, as he fails to do the second splash. Slight miscalculation. And another body slap. Oh, and the Amazon performs a choke. Evidently, he's the only wrestler on the entire roster who can who can actually perform a uh, a side headlock with a bunch of punches. However, that was not enough to save the Amazon as King Corn performs the victory. How exactly you perform a victory is beyond me. Nonetheless, King Corn moves onward to defend his title against King Slender.
and a vicious body slam. Oh, and King Slender reverses the Brain Buster and throws him outside. King Slender is is growing wise to Ken Korn's tricks as he performs a backbreaker. Ken Korn performs a backdrop suplex. However, King Slender is counteracting with a body slam. Forms a back uh, a b -b -b -da -da -da. a pal driver. Yes, that's the word, pal driver. My God, the excitement is ruining my vocabulary. King Corn attempting to do a second second splash to the outside, but King Slender, Slender, Slender is coming back. With a vengeance, I might add. Kincorn performs a backdrop suplex and a brain buster! And he goes for the pin. Will it be enough? Kitten Corn Karn, the Chopaholic, has defeated King Slender for the second time. We are now in the third round of, of title defenses, as Kitten Corn returns to face Fighter Hayabusa. Fighter Hayabusa is not happy at all with a sudden with a sudden losing streak. A he is seeking to restore his honor, as he claims in the back. Blah. I belch with authority. Kincorn is all over Fighter Hayabusa. A pile driver. And a knee to the upper sternum. Just short of actually putting his knee in his in Hayabusa's neck, which cannot feel good at all. Kincorn throws Fighter Hayabusa out to out to si out to the side. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was very unprofessional of me. He accomplishes a splash just as Fighter Hayabusa is getting back up again. He performs the chop of doom and goes for the pin. No, it is not enough. A pal driver and a knee to the chin. <laughs> Fighter Hayabusa is out cold. And Kin Korn moves on to face the Starman. Kin Korn starts immediately with the with the karate kick of doom. Kincorn attempting the chop of doom, but misses. Uh. 
Starman is attempting to do a, a top rope maneuver, but he fails a second time. And Kin Korn lands the Chop of Doom. Oh, and he performs the Somersault Kick. Kin Korn Karn is in serious trouble. He needs to somehow gain the advantage. Otherwise, this could be it. After a collision, Starman gets up first and, and tries to gain the advantage. But no, Kin Korn is up and about. Kincorn attempts a pile driver, but gets nowhere. Kincorn resort resorting to his old tactics, throwing his opponent outside and splashing the hell out of him. However, he only had enough time to do one splash, but it was enough to weaken him enough to pick him up for a pile driver. He attempts it again, and succeeds. Can he do it a third time? He has done it a third time. He concludes with a Brain Buster and goes for the pin. Will it be enough? The Starman is out. And a winner is you. Great Panther comes out, comes out swinging with his head. Needless to say, the Great Panther was waiting for Kin Corn Karn. Kin Corn getting cocky and attempting the pin right after a simple body slam of all things. Kincorn retaliating with three backdrop suplexes. And now he's going for the pile driver. Attempting the same thing he did with the other guy. With the other fellow. Why can't I remember? Kincorn resorting to his earlier tactics. And failing this time, he could not land a single splash. He was thrown to the outside, and now the race is on to get back inside before the 20 count. Kincorn still has enough energy to do a pile driver. He does it again. He attempts a splash from the top, however, it was not it was not close enough. He missed him. Not exactly sure how that happened. Ooh, and Kin Korn attempts and lands a double knee drop to the to the sternum. And that was enough to take all the wind out of the Great Panther. A winner is you! The Chopmaster attempts to take on the Amazon for the third time. The Amazon begins with a side he side headlock with punches. Kin Korn attempts the kick of doom and does not get a th does not get a two count. More like a one and three quarters of a count. Kin Korn attempts to retaliate with soup with a uh, backdrop suplexes. However, the Amazon has scouted Kin Korn very well and has kicked him before he was before he's able to land the pile driver. However, it was all for naught anyway as Kin Korn attempts a pile driver and fails. So he does another backdrop. 
He goes for the splash, but the Amazon has scouted him well. And a kick to the face by the Kincorn. Kincorn suddenly mustering enough strength to pull out a pile driver out, the, out of his pants. And he throws the Amazon outside and goes for the splash. He manages to land one, and that was all he could do. Uh oh. What is he going to attempt now? A pile driver to the outside. And another pile driver, and he leaves him to die by the 20 count. Ken Corn Karn pulls a victory out of his pants. And he moves on once more to take on Gr the, the King Slender. King Slender coming out swinging with kicks. However, Ken Korn responds in kind with a kick of his own. A certain kick of doom, if you will. Ugh. I belch with excitement. Ken Korn attempting to land a chop of doom in, the, in King Slender. He, he knows. He, he knows it's, it's the Chop of Doom. He's staying the hell away as much as, as much as possible. Kincorn realizes his efforts are futile and just goes for simple body slams. And a knee to the face! Knee to the face! And a body slam. Kincorn is now going on the offensive with backdrop suplexes, but oh, King Slender responds with a backdrop of his own. Kincorn resorting to his usual outside shenanigans. He performs a splash. What does he plan to do now? Doesn't matter. King Slender has managed to throw him against the guardrail. Pile driver to the outside by Kin Corn Karn. Just long enough for the 20 count. Kin Corn Karn once again going after a fighter Hayabusa in his defense of the title. Good god, how many times do I have to run through the entire roster? Hello, friend. Hello to you, too. How do you do? Well, I'm seeing the dentist early, or, well, I'm seeing the dentist later today. Yay, dentist. As well as I just saw my doctor, and she prescribed me more pills. Pills here. Because we all need more pills in our system. Basically antibiotics, as well as my pro my happy pills. <gasps> happy, 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 joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. You know what else is happy? Kincorn Karn after throwing Fighter Hoyabusa out to the out to the ring, outside the ring, and then doing his trademark splash to the outside. <laughs> as you can see, I'm calling a match. Yeah. 
I must pause for a moment. <laughs> One of my perlers ended up on main base. Main base. I have no idea what that is. What? I have no idea what main base is. You know, the I the I can has cheeseburger network. Uh, I, I do know the I do know the cheeseburger network. Is that a new thing? Is that a new thing on the network? No, it's been on there for a while. But yeah, one of them got got featured in the cartoons and anime segment. <laughs> nice. And I'm looking it up right now. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> Kin Korn lands two pile drivers to fa fighter Hayabusa outside the ring. That's not padding there, folks. That is solid floor. Just got a phone call. I heard this is your and I hung up. <laughs> it's my pharmacy telling me, hey, hey, your pills are ready. Uh, by the way, there's your there's the uh, main thing. Cool, I'll have to check it out sometime. It will definitely have to be after I finish this game. Whenever the hell that is. I'm 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 still kinda clueless as to how many times I gotta face the entire roster. I think this is my third run through. So, uh, Strider, have you ever played pro wrestling on the NES? No. <laughs> Can't say I have. I do. I played the WWE wrestling game with Macho Man Randy Savage and Andre the Giant and Andre Stripe being and Andre Sprite being twice as big as everybody else's. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I did that a while back. Tried playing as the Macho Man and finding out that both, let's see, Andre is cheap as fuck and Hulk Hogan is cheap as fuck. Starman is not putting up with any of my shit today. With the timer running out, I'm gonna have to pull a victory out of my ass.
Let's see. Pile driver number one. Pile driver number two. Pile driver number three. Let's see if that does it. No. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll do some more pile drivers. And evidently, I'm in the danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. <laughs> Kin Corn Karn, the chop master, just barely pulls one out of his ass. And now he's challenging for the for the double title. I'm not sure what it is. However, it is against the great Puma. Strongest on the strongest on the roster, and he knows every single wrestling technique. Including the claw. As you can see there. Body slam after body slam. He is putting on a clinic, ladies and gentlemen. Not enough for a pile driver, though. And another body slam. What the hell are you doing up there? There, that should empty my pockets. I is playing Terraria. I haven't played Terraria myself, but that's because of the fact that one, I probably couldn't afford to get it at this point in time, and two, because of the fact that I've already got Minecraft and Cube World. My system cannot run Cube World. What, your system can't run it? Uh, because I have a Intel processor, and Cuboard does not support those. I'm running on a Core i5 myself, and it's working fine, unless you're on about graphics. The damn thing won't even start, the demo wouldn't even start up for me, so if I can't get the demo to run, why pay for the actual game? I have a friend who's in the Alpha at the moment, and he um, graciously let me and uh, another friend log in to his account to download it in order to be able to play with us. I want to play it, I just don't have the hardware for it though. <laughs>
What a pity. That is one hell of a game over. <laughs> Just, what a pity. Let's go ahead and reload the save because we want to see the ending to this, right? Computer. Well, at least I'm not reloading saves in mid match, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, enough of that shit from Batonzi. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's like, cheater, cheater. I think Lorcat's style of playing Terraria has way has affected me. I'm making a pit to hell. <laughs> Though I I am doing it the shortcut way by buying lots and lots of dynamite. <coughs> as long as you're prepared for what's down there, that's kind of all that matters, right? Right now I'm mining obsidian. On what? Minecraft or Terraria? Terraria. Terraria. Arr. I'd love for them to rewrite Minecraft in something that wasn't as crappy as Java. Well, there is mine test. But is that as far progressed as Minecraft? Come again? Is that as progressive that as, as Minecraft? Well, it has infinite worlds. Truly infinite worlds. Remember when Lorcat played it on the stream, he dug straight down for over an hour and could not find the bottom. Because I already have mine test downloaded, it's just a case of um, trying to play it on a laptop with a touchpad is awkward. <laughs>
to wonder, can I pile drive him outside the ring? No! And I'm stuck. Holy crap, I actually pinned him. <laughs> so I am now a double promotion champion or something of that sort. <laughs> It was only after a pile driving the ever loving shit out of the, the great Puma. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was pro wrestling.